It's an accident that changed this little girl's life. I remember all of it. it I still have flashbacks, nightmares, but yeah, the details are still there. Painful details, Michelle says it's difficult for her to relive them. It was June 7th, 2007, almost nine years to the day when Michelle was mowing her lawn with her two young children in plain sight. While mowing the grass, Michelle says her two-year-old daughter Jillian was sitting with her. Minutes later, her son wanted to turn too. Michelle says she turned off the mower and brought her daughter inside the house. But somehow Jillian got out without her mother noticing. I went outside to finish and when I went by my front porch, I bumped into a stake in the ground and that was when I backed up. And since she was so small, she was only two, I didn't see her and I backed over her, knocked her down. The injuries to Jillian's leg and foot were so severe, the two-year-old was airlifted to Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital here in Syracuse, where she spent 11 days in a hospital bed. Doctors removed a muscle from her back and used it to wrap around her foot, ankle, and heel. Now Jillian is able to walk, run, and play just like any other 11-year-old girl. But she lives with this scar. Nine years later, Michelle says she still feels the guilt every single day, but is grateful her daughter has no memory of the accident or her time spent in the hospital. It's definitely a little easier on my heart that she doesn't remember. When I first started, like going into like first or second grade, people were asking like what happened, but usually I would just tell them that I didn't want to talk about it. Now both mom and daughter are ready to speak out about their painful past with the hopes it will get someone's attention so this doesn't happen to anyone else. They teamed up with Limbs Matter and an amputee coalition which helped them connect with other families across the country who understand their story because it happened to them too. Don't let this happen to your family. They created a public service announcement together, hoping their message will sink in. When anyone's mowing, keep your kids inside supervised and if we can save one limb or one life then something good has come out of what happened with us with this accident. For now reporting in Clay, I'm Sarah Thackerman.